What's up YouTube? This is Bob, KK4DIV, and today I'd like to give you a quick rundown and overview of my shack. Um, it's really just a room located in my house uh, called the Man Cave. <laughs> uh, just a place I can get away from, you know, the noise of the house, kind of shut the door, and uh, play radio. Uh, I do several different things in here, um, run digital modes, PSK31, um, my newest interest is Hellschreiber, or Field Hell, Bell Hell, um, just another type of digital mode, and um, really getting a lot of enjoyment out of doing that. I also run an Aper station in here, I've got a, uh, it's a Digipeter, as well as an iGate. So I'll show that to you and show you my setup with that as well. Uh, got a couple different radios in here, um, a couple different computers that uh, run different things. So uh, with that being said, let's uh, get on to it and I will just kind of give you the, uh, the shack tour. Alright, I'll show you my main radio workstation. And the cat will get out of the way. Apers move. That's right. It is Apers the Digi Kitty. Apers, get down. Get down. Get down. There you go. All right. Uh, so, uh, let's start with my main workstation here. As you can see, I've got not a whole lot of equipment, um, but it does everything I needed to do. It's not as, definitely not as elaborate as some people's uh, shack and their uh, radio equipment uh, but it does basically everything I would like it to do um, maybe one day I'll add an amplifier to it but as it is right now everything just runs barefoot 100 watts alright uh, let's start here this is the my main power supply uh, it's a Yezu uh, FP1030A uh, that's a 30 amp or it's a 25 amp continuous power supply um, good little power supply. I bought it at the same time I got my FT450 which has been an awesome radio. I love it. It's compact and it does everything I needed to do. Uh, I've got a signal link that is linked to the FT450 and that runs to my computer for my digital modes and all that. I do have a realistic speaker just to I don't think it's anything too special, just something I picked up at a ham fest over in Pensacola, or I'm sorry, over in Knowlton, uh, Knowlton, Florida. Um, the speaker on the FT450 faces upwards, and I, as you see, I have my radio elevated a little bit, so uh, I like having that speaker. It points directly at me just a little bit easier for listening. Cat, Apers, what are you doing? Anyway, <laughs> all right, so obviously, you know, repeater directory. Uh, I've got a Yesu, not a Yesu, a Wushan handheld radio that is currently out in my truck. I normally keep it in here on the charger, but I left it out in the truck last night and forgot about it. Apers, get down. <laughs> all right, uh, this is uh, the newest edition, uh, if I can get a good picture of it. Uh, I'm sure everybody that's in the ham radio has seen one of these before. It's just a, a Yaesu MD100 desk mic. I've been wanting one of those for quite a while. And my wife, my lovely wife, purchased it, purchased it for me this past Christmas. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, next is a... If it'll focus, it might not focus. Uh, that is a uh, ICOM ID880. Uh, D Star, and I do uh, not a lot of D Star work, but uh, I have checked into some D Star nets. We're working on getting a D Star repeater in town. As of right now, we've just got a D Star hotspot uh, located uh, a couple miles from me, so I am going to be able to get into it and utilize that. Okay, the FT450 and that uh, ICOM ID880 both run into this. 
Yaesu power supply. Got another power supply here. This is a Radio Shack. I don't think it'll. Uh, just a Radio Shack 19 amp switching power supply that runs my Apers equipment. And what I have here is I have a Kenwood. Oh, this is a TM211A. A TM211A. Um, for my Apers station, runs 25 watts. And I have a Bionics Tiny Track 4 uh, with the display. So as you can see there, it is receiving packets. I operate that as a Digipeter. Uh, Digipeats from the Tiny Track, and then it runs into my computer, and I run APRS IS uh, for my eye gate. So that's the APR station there. Over here, I have a laptop. This runs uh, various things. I have DRATS on here running right now, uh, which uh, is uh, utilized with the 880. I uh, have a, a USB uh, RT systems adapter going into the radio there. Uh, this is just a touchpad. Uh, since this is a, it was a Windows 7 laptop, I upgraded to 8. And I've got this uh, Logitech touchpad here that allows me to do a lot of the Windows 8 gestures that you would do on a touch screen on this. So that's uh, kind of cool. A lot of people don't like Windows 8. Um, I, I like it. Once you get used to it and learn how to use it, I think it's a pretty decent operating system. Only problem is I found some things don't like to work with Windows 8. Uh, some USB to serial adapters, uh, well most that i found don't like to work with Windows 8, so um, that's kind of a downfall. Uh, behind this laptop, uh, this is a Kenwood R2000. That is just a receiver. And that is a hand-me-down from my dad. And I remember uh, when I was growing up using that to listen to ham radio operators, uh, shortwave uh, broadcasts, things like that. Uh, it's a pretty good little radio. Uh, I still use it to this day uh, for tuning in shortwave broadcasts and different things. Above that is uh, that is a WRT54G. Now that is running um, um, a ham mesh network, and that uh, also uh, I use with this laptop as well. So um, I do have a ham mesh network node, uh, KK4DIV-1, that does run pretty much 24/7. I haven't done a whole lot with it yet, uh, but I would like to get a couple webcams and set up. And um, there's a couple people in town that are interested. And I know you can set up uh, like voice over IP phones and things like that. And we might start dabbling in that a bit. So, Ham Mesh Network works with the uh, WRT54G Linksys phone. Linksys phone. <laughs> Linksys router. Uh, not all the 54Gs work, but uh, a lot of them do. So, all right, that's that. Um, so over here, printer, uh, and underneath the printer is a small refrigerator. Uh, great for keeping nice cold beer in the man cave. <laughs> I don't have to travel too far. All right, let's move along. Uh, this is the main workstation here. This is a uh, HP. Uh, it's an A10. AMD A10 processor, 12 gigabytes of memory, Windows 8. Uh, like I said, a lot of things don't work with Windows 8 uh, when it comes to uh, USB to serial cables. And as most people know, there aren't, well I won't say there aren't any. It's hard to find a computer that is that will come with a serial port. So I had a bunch of USB to serial adapters. And none of them would work with Windows 8. So, I uh, went online, newegg.com, picked up a plug-in serial card uh, so I can run my APERS uh, packet into the computer. 
uh, for the eye gate as well as uh, rig control for the FT450. Um, and the signal link USB plugs in the USB port, that's no problem running it with Windows 8. Uh, let's see here, got a monitor, we'll talk about that later, but I just caught my eye over. Cat! <laughs> hey, Bruce, chill out up there. She loves to get up there and look out the window. All right, so I've got a couple different antennas. Uh, one is a fan dipole. You see I've got an antenna switch there. I've got a fan dipole that covers 40, 20, 17, and 10 meters. Uh, the nice thing about those meter, those meters, those bands, um, this radio has an internal tuner, and it will tune almost every band uh, with that fan dipole. So. Uh, the only bands it doesn't tune are 80 and 160 meters. Uh, so for 80 meters, I do have the other switch position is for my 80 meter dipole I have up. Um, but uh, don't have anything yet for 160 meters. Um, I'm going to start working on that here soon. Uh, let's see here. Get my computer to come on. There we go. So you see I'm running... Uh, APRS IS, APRS IS, uh, as my uh, digipeter, or not digipeter, but eye gate. And so we've got packets that come in and get put into the internet system. So, so that's uh, that's about the extent of the shack. Um, I think that's about it. A couple other things I've got a. Um, SWR meter that's for the uh, 2 meter 440 radio uh, I use the SWR meter and the uh, HF for my HF uh, rig for measuring that so it's it does that for me uh, on my computer uh, not only do I run Apers, but this is my digital mode software I use, FL Digi. I uh, also sometimes use uh, what is it called? Ham Radio Deluxe. I have that up there as well. So uh, I like it, uh, FL Digi. It seems to be a, a smaller program, seems to be less taxing on my computer. Uh, and I like the way it you, you can use many, many, many different modes of digital operations with it. So, alright, that's, uh, that's about all we've got for the shack. Alright, so that's the quick shack tour uh, located in the man cave uh, with all the various equipment that I like to use. If you have any questions or something that you saw sparks your interest, feel free to ask a question. I'll try to respond in a timely manner so that being said 7-3 everybody and we'll catch you later on peace